Hi, I'm Adam Jones, Applications Engineer with Trilithic. The purpose of this video is going to be to discuss how to set up and configure and how to use uh, high-speed internet throughput testing at your customer's location. These tests can be completed using a 720 or a 1G meter. And it's also necessary to have a TLB installed in the head end. And TLB is a loopback box that uh, sends the information back to the 720 or the 1G uh, for your throughput testing. If you do not have a TLB, then you can use a second 720 or 1G as your loopback device. Like I said, in part one, we're just going to perform the test. So this 720 that we're using is already configured uh, for testing. So you'll want to make sure that you navigate to your troubleshooting menu and then select your GIGI icon. I already have a test point set up and my meter has now booted up the uh, gigabit port and has negotiated at, a, at one gig on the ethernet side. Had I been doing this on, a, uh, on my fiber interface, the icon uh, would have been lit up and indicate that I am using the fiber interface. As you can see, it's green, means connected and uh, using ethernet. So we're gonna do a, a BER test, which is the bit error test. So I simply have it highlighted and I select enter. Now my meter will acquire an IP address. Now before we start the test, there's a couple things I want to point out on this screen. <clears throat> First is my active test point. It's the test point that I'm going to be utilizing for this test. In this case, I have it labeled as apps 1 GB or the apps uh, 1 gigabit test. Now th I'm utilizing a uh, TLB. Uh, the next thing down you see where it says aggregate. and The reason for that is because the, the 720 and the 1G has the capability of running up to eight tests simultaneously. Now those eight tests can be for different things. Um, however, you can only use up to the 1 gigabit that the uh, interface is capable of. So if you wanted to have a couple 200 megabit test running, you could. Uh, where it says aggregate, you would simply highlight it and you could select through and see the information of the other test. So aggregate meaning the collection of all of my data or you can go through and see just the information of that specific test. I do believe that majority of the time you'll just be running one test, so aggregate will apply. At this point, I have my test point specified. I'm just going to simply select start. Now it's going to reach out, shake hands with the TLB, and begin the test. We'll run this test for a few seconds, just making sure that everything goes well. And you'll see that I'm running at 100%, or in this case, 1 gigabit per second. I'm going to go ahead and stop the test. My we over, well, over on the left, we have listed the uh, receive and transmit frames per second, which is the same as packets, the utilization, and the line and data rate. And I want you to keep in mind that your data rate will always be lower than your line rate because Ethernet has overhead that will never allow you to reach 100%. Um, in addition to that, if we scroll down, you'll see that we have other characteristics of the test. You'll see things such as uh, UDP or TCP frames, again packets, um, broadcast, multicast, um, also any ARP frames or packets that came in during the test. Um, and then we'll also list any kind of errors or anomalies in the testing that, that came up, along with um, identifying packet size or frame sizes of the, uh, of the information that was transmitted. In the next video, we will discuss how to set up your TLB Gigabit Ethernet loopback device with the TLB Manager software.